Have you ever been so unmotivated before a workout that even bending down to tie your running shoes feels like a nuisance? Or maybe you would rather just save all that shoe tying energy and put it into your five mile run instead. Well, Nike's betting that its new self-lacing shoe will appeal to consumers like you. The HyperAdapt Trainer 1.0 will go on sale later this year as Nike looks to one-up rivals in an increasingly tech-driven athletic market. So, self-lacing sneakers, how do they work? In place of traditional laces or Velcro straps, the battery-powered trainer has a sensor in the heel that adapts to the fit of the sneaker wearer. Two side buttons allow the user to tighten or loosen the grip around the foot. Pricing for the shoe, which will be available for the 2016 holiday season, hasn't been determined, a Nike spokesman said. The world's largest sportswear maker says it's aiming for $50 billion in revenue by 2020, with more than a third coming from direct sales to consumers. In fiscal year 2015, Nike brought in $30.6 billion in revenue, a 14% increase over 2014. The sneakers were unveiled as part of a two-day event in New York City, where Nike also displayed a new app that will function as a combined workout and shopping destination and will be available in June. The Hyper Adapt sneaker will debut with the new app. Nike is widely credited for helping to popularize the idea of automatic lacing shoes. It made the prototypes worn in the 1989 film Back to the Future 2. But Nike isn't the only company to work on futuristic sneakers. That same year, Reebok introduced a basketball shoe called the Pump, which featured a button on the tongue that when pressed inflated parts of the sneaker to enhance the fit around the foot. It still sells versions for running and training. And Puma is expected to release a button-controlled lacing shoe sometime this year, after Olympic champion sprinter Usain Bolt demonstrated a prototype on his Instagram last fall. I feel like a kid.